see where it goes. So, okay, well, we're recording. <laughs> so, welcome everybody. I'm Katherine Hickman, hashtag love mom. As I say, as always here to encourage you to be all who God created you to be. And I want to introduce you to my friend, Dorothy. I had made a post on Facebook asking about people who they'd written a book and what it was. And so I just wanted to share this very talented lady, my friend Dorothy with you. So welcome Dorothy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing your time. And could you tell us like who you are, where you're from and what's the name of your book? Right, I am Dorothy Mullet and I'm from Northern Wisconsin. I've lived here most of my life. So the Northwoods is very much part of me. Um, anyway, I have six children, two grandchildren, and I love them all dearly. Um, I love family. And the title of my book is Moving On, The Art of Transition. And um, yes. Pull it up a little farther so we can see the whole cover. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a lovely cover. That's a lovely cover. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry about that. Yes. We had actually two of our children designed the cover, oh. one of Holly's and one of mine. So oh. it's pretty special. Yeah, that's a beautiful cover. And now you mentioned Holly. So can you share with us who is Holly? Okay. I met Holly when we were both um, got our certificate for at the Integrated Institute of Integrative Nutrition. And when we had to find accountability partners, we ended up together. And that's where our friendship started. And it has just blossomed into a beautiful friendship. I look at her as my sister. We are now business partners. Um, and she had the idea for this book and just, you know, kind of conned me in there without knowing exactly what I was doing when I started. But it's been an amazing journey to do this with her. She's a very kind-hearted, gracious person and has lots of patience and a lot of care for people who are going through transitions. Outstanding. So you and Holly are the co-authors of, and your title's Moving on the Art of Transition, right? Right. And so what are like the key points? Can you tell, or no, wait, who's the book written for? Can you tell us a little bit about that? The book is actually written for people who are going through transitions. You know, there's good and bad transitions. For us, it was loss of family. There was loss of marriages, loss of personal property due to mold. And we both had health issues that we had to work through. So we're hoping that by writing this book and writing some of the things that we learned as we went through our transitions, that other people can just make their time a little shorter and maybe not quite so painful as some of ours were. Outstanding, outstanding. Well, in life, it's inevitable. We do have transitions. We do. <laughs> in life. So what are some of the key points? Oops, I apologize. <laughs> My phone. What are some of the key points um, about the book that you might share with us? Give us a yeah. snippet. <laughs> yeah, little snippets. Okay, I think these are some of my favorite parts. One of them is that I had to learn so much was changing you. You know, sometimes we want to think that if someone else would change, oh, our life would be so much easier. But we have to learn that we, ha we can only change ourselves. And we can look at that as a joy. It can feel harsh to begin with, but as we can look at it as blossoming, as Catherine talked to begin with, of becoming the person that we were created to be. And so that can actually become a game. And I actually learned to really enjoy it. And I still do. We can always change. Limiting beliefs. What do you believe about yourself? And how much is what you're believing about yourself holding you back? Because you just don't know if you can do it. You don't trust yourself. Uh, another thing you can do is change your story. You know, what if you took that story that was so hard and caused you so much pain? What if you could change that into something a little bit more positive, like it's helping create you to be the person who can help people who are going through those same situations because you've learned how to go through that in a positive way. So that's one of the things we can change our stories in. And then we talk about the fear gremlin. We actually call it the tear barrier. 
and how much fear can hold us back. And it actually will just take two millimeters, we say, of insane courage, and we can break through that. Then there's the shame. Shame makes us feel really small. It makes us want to hide. And so we want to help people work through that too and realize that there's a difference between shame and guilt too. That's something we touch on. And the shame just needs to go because it doesn't serve us. Then our favorite part is we work through these different areas is we get to come down and we need, we get to reinvent ourselves. You get to choose. You have a choice who you want to be and who is that person going to be? And then how are you going to get there? And so the, the points that we give before, if you can work through all of those, you can get down and you can start to create the life that you love and the life that you were created to be. And that is our hope for each one as they read this book, that they will take these points, take these areas and really work, find an accountability coach or partner that will help you through it. And then just a little side note, we actually do have a protocol where we have group coaching and different things that we can help you with. And we'll put a link for that in the comments where you can go read more about it. That is outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really small snippet. You know, this, this book is really my heart. And I just, um, when I get into it, get to talk about it and get to talk with people about it. You know, I kind of forget all the troubling things I'm going through right now because it is such a passion of mine to help people just become the best version of themselves. Because I can look back and see as I started to change my story, as I started to understand that shame, that's what somebody else puts on us. God doesn't put shame on us. And as I learned to just barge through that fear, you know, you just start to create a person that you really love. You can start to love yourself and move on. And it's, it's just a great story. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And so where you will drop links down below. Um, and now you have, where do, where do we find the book and how do we find you? <laughs> we can't, you can find the book on um, Amazon. It's, you can do a Kindle or a print book. And then we also, you can uh, find out about our protocol on healwithholly.com. And actually you can just do, fill out a contact form if you would like to meet with us. We also have a Facebook group called Moving On The Art of Transition. Uh, you do have to ask to join. We did that just so that we can connect with you. Um, and then inside of there, you'll find more about, you know, what we're all about. We post almost daily in there. Um, just different tips. And then as you do the protocol, we actually have a special private group for those who will actually be doing our group coaching. Outstanding. Well, I appreciate you sharing about moving on the art of transition and, and a bit of your, of your heart and your story with us, Dorothy. That's been just a real blessing. <laughs> well, I thank you so much for inviting me. I think this was a beautiful opportunity and <laughs> a way to spread the word that there's hope. Yeah. Well, there, there is hope where there is life. Hope. Where there is life, there is hope, and, right. and you are and you are offering people a hand, right. a hand up. So yes, so excellent. Exactly. Well, I exactly. hope that you. I hope you'll join me again sometime. So thank you. Right. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye. -bye.